In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your meticulous photographs uh, that you'll have taken, um, hopefully by following my last tutorial called Meticulous Photography. So check it out. Right, once you've taken your photographs, you will want to edit them because even if you get really great lighting, you will find that the colours, the background and the colours of your objects may not be as um, clear and vibrant as maybe you would like. So I'm using Photop, which is a free online software for editing images. Um, Google Photop and click on the link and it will take you to this page. I'm going to click open from computer. I'm going to go to more photos and I'm going to open up one of the photographs that I took in my meticulous photography. Um, photo shoot. Okay, so I took these photographs of some Lego bricks meticulously placed into a set pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the crop tool which is can be accessed from the left hand side here and I'm just going to crop down this image so that it's just more square. So I drag it on to the shape and then I press enter on my keyboard. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to show you a variety of different um, ways of editing your images but every single one of them requires you to make the make the um, brightness and the contrast a little bit better because at the minute even though I took it on a white background it does not look like it looks great this adjustment layer section which is down here okay just right down here I'm going to click on that and every single one of my instructions from now on is going to involve you choosing the brightness and contrast first. So I'm going to click on brightness and contrast and I'm going to start dragging up those. If I go too far, it doesn't look great. So you can't go too far. You've got to decide how far you want to take it before you think it starts to distort the image a bit too much. But that has definitely improved the background white and has made the shadows ping out and that has created a really nice effect. Now, once I'm at that point, I'm going to add another um, layer onto it, another type of um, adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click on this again, and there's lots to choose from. So the first one I'm going to use is the gradient map. This is actually one of my favorite ones, the gradient map, okay? Now, when it comes up, it's always defaulted to sort of this black and white gradient, but if I click in that drop-down menu, I can choose um, different types of gradients from the list. Um, that one there looks pretty cool. I can double click on this area and I can play about with the minute details of the different colours that are being used in there. So I could have more dark blue or I could have less dark blue. And once you're happy with your finished image, then you press OK and you're done. OK, so I'm going to file export as a JPEG and save that image to my device. That is one image edited. So I'm going to open another one now. So I'm going to open up another one from my meticulous photography photo shoot. So here's another of my photographs. Um, again, I'm going to do a quick crop down the right left hand side there. Just want to make it so that it's more perfectly organized by center. Again, I'm going to go down here and go to new adjustment layer, brightness, contrast, and I'm going to bring up the brightness, bring up the contrast, and you can see that it starts to look far better with the background now white. But I'm going to add another type of um, adjustment layer to this one. I'm going to add the vibrance layer because what you can't see until I start tinkering with this is that there are some really bright colours on the tips of those makeup applicators. So I'm going to move up the brightness, going to move up the saturation and you can just see that they've now sprung out a little bit more. Happy with that? I can now go to File, Export as a JPEG and save it to my device. Okay, I'm going to do another one now. Open. Uh, let's see, I'll do this one. Again, down the left hand side, I'm going to use my crop tool. Drag it on, press enter go to my adjustment layer I'm always going to go to brightness contrast first because I need to bring out the nice bright white background that's on these photographs okay that looks a lot better 
but this one I'm going to use a photo filter so I'm going to click on my adjustment layers click on photo filter and I'm going to choose a color maybe a pink ish color press ok and I'm going to drag that up and you can start to see that it starts to make some of the tips a bit pinky just adds a little bit of a strange effect but if I untick this box you can see that it it take or puts a lot of that colour onto also the background so it's all gone but it gets bring a bit more colour in maybe maybe somewhere like that to get a bit of a pink background I'm happy with that I'll go to export as a JPEG and I save to my device okay I need to do another one these are all from my meticulous photography photo shoot so these are my this is, oh, this is my particular favourite the loom bands so down the left hand side click on crop drag it on so it's nice and uniform there we go press enter right what do I do I go to my adjustment layers brightness contrast bring up the brightness bring up the contrast you can start to see that those colors are really starting to ping out from the background the background's nice and white I'm going to go down here to my adjustment layers and on this one I'm going to use maybe threshold now threshold um, is a quite a, quite a cool one if you wanted to get some edgy photographs if you went too far it goes black if you go too far the other way it goes white but if you start dragging it up some of that detail comes through keep going so you're happy with it oh too much maybe there because I've got some detail still on some of these loom bands so that's quite a cool effect you know there might be a circumstance where this type of photograph would look really cool on a page in a magazine um, and you could have things going around the edge of that but once I'm done I go to file export as a JPEG and I save it okay that is a little bit of a whistle stop tour to some of the most common adjustment layers that you can apply to any photograph but you could definitely apply them to the meticulous photography that you've taken if you watched my meticulous photography video. Make sure you check that out. Okay, everyone, have fun!